by heart. We all know here at Bible Verse, but some of us don't exactly know it by heart, and some of us just forget when the camera's all up in our face. So let's go see who knows it or not. Hey, Yokani, so how are you today? I'm feeling great. Okay, so can you share with us your favorite Bible verse? <laughs> He's on the side. Got him. Got him. God so loved the earth that he gave his only begotten son a verse. Should we believe in him? Peace love. Peace love. Yeah, peace. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. The verses I don't really know or remember, but I know it basically talks about love. How love, yeah. is, you know, it doesn't matter. Love rejoices. Yeah. Yeah. Love rejoices. Oh, it's right there, right? It's right there. Oh, hi, Paul. Yeah, I think both. What's your favorite Bible verse? Go. Oh, man. It was 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. I'll go with my favorite yeah. verse right now, and it's Proverbs 16, verse 9. Uh, it says, a man's uh, heart plants his way, but the Lord directs his steps. And it's kind of like, you know, men do what they want, men can take control of things, but ultimately, God is in control, and God directs people's paths, and God, you know, is behind the scenes always working. And my favorite chapter is 19. Jesus comes back on the white horse, king on a throne, with a uh, uh, robe dipped in blood. My favorite. Prophecy was 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will be compassionate and great. Be anxious about nothing but in all things. Prayer and supplication. Make your request known to the Lord. Where is that? That is in Philippians 4. Don't let me lie, but it's a good scripture to know at all times when you start getting anxious and fearful. Uh-huh. No weapon formed against you, so 
Okay. There are some that will rise against you. You shall condemn. Gospel to every creature, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he who does not believe shall be condemned. Where is that again? Mark chapter 16, verses 15 through 18. I hope I quoted it right because if I'm wrong, I don't know. It says the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self control. Against these things there is no law. So it's about love and explaining everything that love is. So. I think that's a good model for how people should treat each other and what love is. So. Uh, your favorite Proverbs Bible. Fourteen one. A wise woman builds her home, but a foolish one tears it down with her own hands. You can't go there. How can you ask me to choose God's words? They're all wonderful. Which one do you like the best? All of them. <laughs> your calling is greater than your booty call. That's what Chris Dershow said. If you don't like me, just don't follow me. Follow me on Twitter for real, like G, like G to G. At B I S H O P D A R N E L Bishop Darnell. And while you're on there, just show a seed. Psalms 27. Which is? Psalms 27, the whole thing. In the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. Now, if He made that, and you see the heavens and the earth, you see anything else? <laughs> what more do you need? He just made the heavens and the earth. I mean, it, it's it's unimaginable. Like he made the heavens. I mean, I'm can scared, people? I'm scared right now. Can people make Earth? No. Nope. No, they can't. No. That's why. All right. Yeah. Hey. Uh huh. Hey. Yeah. Ephesians six verse ten. Finally, be strong <laughs> in the Lord and His mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the devil's schemes. That's it. My favorite Bible verse is. Mark 8:35, and it says, 
for those who want to save their lives will lose it, but those who lose their lives for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. The gospel of the world ain't, oh, I forgot. He gave his only the gospel. Yeah, he gave his only Bible says in the book of Mark, the 8th chapter, verse 36, what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses it? <laughs> be completely humble and gentle. Be patient. Bear with one another in love. Amen. Who of the world that he gave the only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have a eternal life? John 16, bro. Faith, hope, love remains the same, but the greatest of these is love. Uh, Isaiah 11, 6. Even the wolf shall deal with the lamb. There go, right there. Going through what we're going through is not for nothing. It's to, you know, be purged to be made perfect. You know? Thank you for watching another episode of Do You Know Your Favorite Bible Verse? Tune in next time. Bye, guys.